Good morning, campers! Welcome to the Camp High Crumb channel. Today, we're going to be going through these different instant coffee packets and seeing which one I like best. These are the ones that I found in my local grocery store, uh, Taster's Choice, Folgers, Cafe Bastillo, Bastillo? Correct me on that if I'm wrong, uh, and Starbucks. So I didn't go looking in any other stores or go online to search for some. I'm sure there are others that are very good. These ones were just you know, a quick stop at your grocery store, you forgot something, and th these are probably the choices you'll have. Uh, maybe different different parts of the country, but this is what we'll test today. For my background, uh, I am by no means a coffee connoisseur, so I don't normally go and get coffee. I make my own coffee at home, so uh, I am not a coffee taste tester. I'm just kind of doing this to see which one of these that I like. Uh, your taste may be different, and you'll probably want to do these tests on your own. Uh, what I'm looking for uh, in a cup of coffee for me is I, I like a warm beverage in the morning. Could be tea, but I, I normally go for coffee. Something with a little bit of caffeine content. Uh, I'm not looking for uh, you know death race coffee or anything like that. Uh, but I do want something that has a a, a nice taste and doesn't leave you with that like that rock gut feeling in the morning after have to have a cup of bad coffee. And so yeah, something like that. So let's start with comparing our different options here. We have Taster's Choice, which is uh, you get six point one ounce cups with it. Uh, you need eight ounces of water. Uh, they, they do tout that you get more coffee in each packet, but that's because you use more water than these other ones. Um, and at $1.59 for this whole box, it's pretty economical. That's 26.5 cents per cup. Pretty darn good. Uh, Folgers, it's about the same. You get seven packets though, but it's a 0 0.07 ounces of coffee. So it's I'd expect this one to be a little bit weaker, but we'll see. Uh, it's $1.49, uh, even a little cheaper than this other one, which makes that 24.8 cents per cup. Cafe Bastille, I'm sticking with Bastille. <laughs> uh, it's, you get 6.9 ounce cups, so it should be a little stronger this one, but they, they advertise this one as being espresso, so I expect it to be stronger. Uh, again, $1.49, same price as Folgers. And that makes 24.8 cents. Uh, both of these use six ounces of water. Both of these use eight ounces of water. So that means Starbucks, I do expect to even be even stronger than the Cafe de Steel because you get 0.11 ounces of coffee in each cup. So it should be stronger. Uh, this whole packet is, uh, the whole box was a lot more expensive at $5.38 for the whole box. That makes each cup 67.2 cents. I mean, still pretty good for a cup of Starbucks, but it's not a caramel macchiato. I'll give it that. So next up, uh, I'm going to open up some of these packets, get some cups out, and we'll do some testing. I'll be right back. I am back and we're ready for our testing. So what we're going to do for our test is I'm going to open each packet, dump it in the cup, uh, we'll do a uh, smell test of the dried coffee. Uh, then we'll put the water in the cups. We'll do a visual test of what it looks like. Uh, and then we'll do a aroma test of the prepared coffee and then a taste test of the coffee. And so we'll see, rank them afterwards and see which one comes out the best. I've got uh, my measuring cup, so I get the proper amount of cough, of water in the coffee, get Hot water, it isn't boiling hot because I really like to taste the coffee and not burn my mouth. So that's a good thing. So we'll open these. This one is visually bigger. It does say it's got more coffee in it. I don't know if that's because the freeze-dried coffee's bigger or what. And I gotta figure out which way to open it would help. There we go. And apparently I didn't open it enough. Uh, I spilled some. There we go. And the 
Folgers. I think Folgers has been around forever. <laughs> it's been a house staple for a long, long time. I think that's what my dad drank. The crystals for the taster's choice are definitely larger than uh, the Folgers. Cafe Bastille, I have never tried before. So we'll see what that's like. Oh, that's more of a ground, more finer ground than the other two. It's Starbucks, everybody knows Starbucks. We'll see if their increased price is worth it. Oh, that's another fine, very fine ground. Get rid of that. Get some water. The taster's choice needs eight ounces. Nope, got to do the smell test. Let's do that first. Well, it smells like coffee, but it's not very strong. It's hard to see what that smell is, but uh, kind of getting the rock gut type smell from that. <laughs> this one has almost no smell whatsoever. This one has a very light smell too. But not as strong as that Taster's Choice smell. And, and St Starbucks has the classic Starbucks smell. You know what Starbucks smells like. So eight ounces of water in the Taster's Choice. Which is actually a lot. Ooh. And six ounces for the other two. I wasn't expecting it to be that much. I would have gotten bare cups. I don't know. All right, let's do six ounces for this next one. Now, the quality of your water does make a difference with coffee. Uh, this is from uh, the water filter that's in my refrigerator. So it's not bottled water, not ultra pasteurized, pasteurized. <laughs> not ultra filtered or anything. Another six ounces for this one. And Starbucks gets over eight ounces. Way to the top. So spill some more. There we go. Uh, give them a little bit of stir. I do wish I had clear cups. I'm sorry, I, I do not. Uh, but I wanted to make sure they're all the same cup so that you could see and there's no real difference in the cup. Right off, uh, off the top, the Starbucks looks the strongest. Uh, I know you can't see. Uh, I'll do a, uh, I'll move the camera so that you can see and I'll be right back. Right, so here is a visual of the different cups. Uh, as you can see, there's not a whole lot of difference. They all look about the same darkness. Um, and none of them have any weird floaties. This one has a little bit more foam than the other ones, but other than that, uh, they all look about the same. So we'll uh, go back and do the smell and taste test. All right, now we get to move on to the... Uh, brewed uh, aroma test, and then we'll do a taste test. Hopefully they'll be cooled down by now. They're pretty hot still. So let's start with the taster's choice. It had the strongest uh, aroma when it was dried, and it's still pretty strong while, while it's brewed here. The Folgers didn't have much of a smell when it was uh, dried, but it does have a almost a like a processed smell and uh, you know that smell that I don't know it's hard to describe that smell but you can tell it's been processed a lot. Bustillo has kind of has that same smell but it's a more earthy uh, type aroma. Starbucks is oh it's now a very strong smell. It's much stronger than the taster's choice was when it was dry. So expect that one to be uh, very strong. So see if we can do some 
testing if this isn't going to burn my lips here. Although it had a strong aroma, it doesn't have a strong taste. Maybe because there's more water in it, eight ounces versus six, but there's not much of a, a taste there. We'll go with the classic Folgers. Very, very light taste, almost like a, like a watered down coffee that you get at a, a coffee shop, not a coffee shop, but a, a restaurant. Cafe Bastille, which I've never tried before. It actually has a, a nicer coffee taste. To kind of go with the, the earthy smell, it's kind of an earthy taste as well. It's a little bit of a, definitely stronger than the Fulcher's and the Taster's Choice. And the Starbucks I expect to be very strong. Your, your classic Starbucks taste for, uh, it's a strong cup of coffee, so if you're looking for strong, this is it. So out of these, the one that I like, the, if you're looking for a very light coffee, just something to keep warm you up in the morning, with not a whole lot of coffee taste, go with your Folgers or the Taster's Choice. Uh, if you want strong, strong coffee, go with the Starbucks. Uh, I think my take on this one would be the Cafe Bastille, uh, even though it says it's a um, uh, espresso, uh, it doesn't taste strong espresso. So this one has the, the better flavor. So I think I will go with that one next time that I go camping or I need some coffee. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this and you found this interesting and useful. Uh, if you do, please subscribe to my channel and give me a like. Uh, also, give me any comments of any other coffee packets you've tried, some that you think would be uh, much better than this, this selection, but this selection was limited to what was available in a grocery store. So thank you for listening to my video and watching, and have yourself a great day, and have hiking.